May you heal from the things you do not talk about. Let's talk. Hi, family. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I am Pastor Carolyn, your pastor and purpose pusher of Tears to Breakthrough Ministry and T to be Global. Come on in the room. This morning, I want to talk to you about your heart. Let's talk about the heart, okay? Um, you hear people often say, oh, charge it to my heart. Oh, you know my heart. And the funny thing about that is God knows our heart for real for real right scripture says that um mm, the heart is deceitfully wicked who can know it and we know that god knows it right so we can fool some of the people some of the time but we can fool god none of the time right and so he knows our heart and so what's really in your heart today what is your heart issue because I would like to talk to you about your heart issue today what's really in your heart and see many of us didn't care for our hearts properly or let me say or others that may have been close to us didn't care for our hearts properly and so our hearts have all these issues which is going to lead me right to our scripture today in Proverbs but I just want to say to you that God cares about everything that you care about. So whatever you're going through, um, God cares, okay? And I care, okay? I'm, I'm wearing a shirt today. God can mend your broken heart because he absolutely can. But not only can he mend your heart, he wants, he wants to mend your broken heart. God cares about everything you care about. Let me just say that again. God cares about everything you care about, okay? And he promised to not leave you in that thing alone. He promised to never leave us nor forsake us. And I know you might hear that scripture quoted all the time, but it's just true. I have been through it. If you've been following me any amount of time, you know my story. I've been through so many types of traumas. And when I look back, God was always there. And I remember, I'm remarried now, but I remember after going through a divorce and I was depressed and stressed and literally a hot mess for at least three years of my life that I tr I really don't remember because I was in such a depression, right? And I remember as I was coming out of that and I was in the mirror one day and I was dressing, um, getting dressed and putting on makeup. And it was really a struggle for me to even do that. But I knew that I had to do something different than just lay around, not taking showers from day to day, not even know what day, which day was what, did not even know when, what day it was. But I remember looking in the mirror and as I was putting on my makeup, I remember hearing the voice of God, Holy Spirit said, daughter, I care more about what's really going on on the inside of you than what you're looking at in that mirror. And this is for somebody out there. God was, in other words, God was saying to me, I care more about your heart issues. Okay, because you got all these issues in your heart, but now you're sitting there putting on the makeup, you know, look all cute, and that's fine. We should always want to look our best, but are we caring more about our outward appearance than we're caring about what's really in our heart? God cares more about what's in your heart. Okay, so um, we are going to go to our scripture today in Proverbs, but I just wanted to... Um, I really want to deal with the heart because we've been talking a lot about the heart and our heart's issues, okay? Because sometimes the enemy is the inner me. Let me just say that again. Sometimes the enemy is the inner me. So we have to check our hearts. And I just want to say that I am honored to serve and be a part of your breakthrough journey. We are breaking through together. Tears to Breakthrough Ministries is not called Tears to Breakthrough for no reason. We are here breaking through it together, living our best and blessed life. What does that mean? We're living our best and blessed life now. That means we're not stuck in the past. Yes, some things happened in the past. Some trauma has happened. We've lived through some trauma, but we are living. We are making a conscious decision every day to live our best and blessed life now. And, and that takes a lot of faith. 
And so now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So just because we don't see things happening at the rate that we think it should be happening, it's still happening. But we have to have faith. We have to believe and receive that, right? And so we're living our best and blessed life when? Now, not back then. And so it's so important to let go of our old stories that no longer serve us. Now, when I say let go of your old stories, what does that mean? That means um, not to share, I'm, I'm not saying not to share your uh, pain of purpose story, which I like to call them, I believe we all have pain of purpose stories. But when I say let go, I mean, when you wear that story of pain as a badge of honor, when you have he have not healed from the pain. So when you open your mouth, pain comes out. When you open your mouth, bitterness comes out. When you open your mouth, anger comes out. And so that wound is open and easily triggered. That wound is open, easily triggered, and you are bleeding out all over the place. And so everywhere you go, you leave casualties. How many know hurt people hurt people? Hurt people hurt people. And so some of you have been hurt and because of that, you and, and you didn't get healed. So because of that, you're hurting others. Been there. And so some of you, again, are leaving that trail of hurt because you have not healed. And don't get me wrong, healing is a lifelong process. I am a witness. And so every day that we make up, we must make a conscious decision to be intentional about our healing, especially when you've lived through a lot of trauma. But you must begin to heal, okay? You can't continue with all of the excuses and not start the healing process. And that's where I come in at. That's why I'm here to help you. We all have those stories we hang on to. What is yours? What is that story that you keep telling yourself that's keeping you bound to the old, that's stopping and blocking you from growing into the things, the plans and purposes that God has for your life? You know what, if we, the truth is, if we can change the story that we tell ourselves, we can shift our perspective and begin to live the life that we really want to live and not continue to live the life that we no longer want to live. You can actually live the life that you've always dreamed about living, but you have to be able to do the work. Right? And so for a second, I want to, I want to talk about that, that inner critic the inner critic, right? All of the knots, right? Because again, sometimes the enemy is the inner me. Let me just say that again. Sometimes the enemy is the inner me and you have all of the knots, not good enough, not confident enough, not, not, not young enough, not old enough, not pretty enough, not thin enough. We could just go on and on and on, not smart enough. You know, your inner critic will mess you up. Your inner critic, critic, is is, is, is 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 sometimes it's rooted in it goes back as far as when you were a child those things that were never dealt with those things that were never talked about sometimes that inner critic is just it's, it's rooted in fear but how many know that god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind a well-disciplined mind and the bible also talks about how uh fear is it gives you torment. Some of you are tormented about your past. So many, so many of you are tormented about your situation. Know that that's not a spirit. Know that it is a spirit and it's not one that God has given you. So you don't have to be fearful. I want to encourage you today to step out on faith. Now faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and it's the evidence of things not seen. So don't focus on the fact that you haven't seen it yet. Continue to do the work. Every day when we wake up, we have to be intentional about the inner work. Some of you have a broken heart, a wounded heart. I said it earlier because why? Because you didn't care for your heart. You didn't take care of your heart. And, and sometimes it wasn't even that you didn't take care of your heart. It's the people that, 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 that were supposed to love you didn't take care of your heart. And so now your heart is wounded. And you're carrying all of those wounds around, all of those open wounds. So anything is triggering you, 
right? And so let's, that takes me right to our scripture, Proverbs uh, 4.23, Proverbs 4.23. And it says that we should guard our hearts with all diligence. We should guard our hearts with all diligence. Why? Because from out of it flows the issues of life. This scripture implies that whatever we allow to enter into our hearts will be manifested in our lives and and, 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 and in our actions, right? And that could be positive or negative. So what are you allowing in your heart? I want you to really examine your heart today, right? Listen, we all have issues. We all do. And may you heal from the things that you don't talk about. Let me say that again. May you heal. I'm just declaring and decreeing over this over you today that you will heal. That God will heal your broken heart. May you heal from the things you don't talk about. But I'm here today to appeal to you, to you, to let's talk about it. It's time to talk about some things. It's time to deal with some issues. Doesn't matter what they are. We can talk about anything. So what I want you to do is step out on faith and contact me. I now have the text to talk set up. Text me and we can set it up where we can talk about those issues that are flowing out of your heart. Just flowing out of your heart, all of the issues. Remember out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. So what are you speaking every day? That, that, that all of those issues that are flowing out of your heart, Listen, God can mend your broken heart. So text me. Let me just speak this third John blessing over you. I pray above all things that you will prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers in Jesus' name. Our soul consists of our mind, our will, and our emotions. And we just need to get it all in check. We need to get it all in alignment with God. Get your mind right. Your will should be God's will for you. Your emotions, all of that plays a part in you being healed and your healing. So this is Pastor Carolyn signing off. I'll see you on the inside. God bless. Be encouraged and not discouraged.